Hey guys, it's your girl Shalay and I'm back today with a second stimulus check update video. In today's video, we are going to discuss breaking news about Donald Trump tweeting $3,400 for stimulus payments. What? How? Wait, we'll talk about it. We also are going to discuss some states are extending unemployment benefits by an additional 13 weeks with the $300 boost, kudos there. And then last but not least, we have a few rental assistance programs. And to top it off, it is Friday. Cheers to the freaking weekend. So happy Friday, guys. But if you wanna know what is going on in the lovely world of stimulus, my darling, you already know what to do. Stay tuned, your girls got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, Hi, hello, hey friend. My name is Shalay and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. Where have you been all these weeks? I would love for you to join my internet family, super easy. Click that big old red subscribe button down below and you're in just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you like me, girlfriend, right? And the positive, and it's Friday. All right, so let's go ahead and jump directly into it, guys. And let me know, if you think it's phony baloney, or if you think it's about to happen. So just a few hours ago, our president Donald Trump has tweeted, I have directed Steve Mnuchin to get ready to send the direct payments of $3,400 to a family of four for all Americans. Democrats are holding this up. Now guys, I got super excited because I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the big generous checks that he was talking about. Oh my gosh, $3,400. But womp, 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 spoiler alert, okay? The $3,400 for a family of four, that would be just a husband and wife, $2,400. And then you would go ahead and get the, I guess, $500 for a dependent, which would total $3,400. So two kids, you know, $1,000 and then $2,400 for mom and dad. So it's $3,400. So instantly I'm like, yo, I thought you said a few weeks ago we were getting very generous checks. This $3,400 is what we were expecting the whole time. So let me know what you guys think about it. Like, do you want the very generous or, hey, at this point, do you just want your $1,200? But according to the president, he's directed Steve Mnuchin to send another round of the stimulus checks. And he stated today that the Treasury Department are to prepare the second round of stimulus checks for the American families. But he did once again blame the Democrats for holding this up. So he said, hey, you know what? I'm ready to send it. Steve Mnuchin already has stated that he can have these checks to us within seven days. And if you watched my previous videos, guys, I had stated that in order for them to, for us to still get a check by the end of this month, it had to be done by today on Friday. Now that wasn't the only thing that he tweeted. He also tweeted as well, I am ready to have US Treasury and the Small Business Administration send additional PPP payments to small businesses that have been hurt by the pandemic. But you know what he calls it, the such and such virus. And he said, but Democrats are holding this up. Then he tweeted once again and he said, I am ready to send more money to states and local governments to save the jobs for police, firefighters, first responders, teachers, and the Democrats are holding this up as well. Now guys, I don't know as of right now that we know that the Senate right now is out on recess until Labor Day. So I'm not sure if a deal is going to be reached, but he's stating that, hey, he told the Treasury to go ahead and prepare the checks. He says, I'm awaiting for the Democrats to approve it during a White House press briefing, clarifying that he was not planning to act unilaterally on the stimulus checks. But we know that as of right now, what do y'all think? Like, do you think <laughs> that the checks are still going to come? Do you think that he's going to process? We know that he cannot process the checks. It has to be, it has to come from Congress, but he is tweeting that, and we know that Nancy Pelosi is firm that, hey, she wants a comprehensive bill versus all these little mini bills. So I don't know, what do you call it? Do you call it smoke? You know, you know, if there's smoke, they say where there's smoke, there's fire. Or do you think that this is just another tweet, another game that's going on? What do you think? Let me know. Um, but as of right now, a senior Treasury Department official told the Fox Business News that the borrowing rate for the direct payments would be around $1 trillion. The Treasury has the money available now to begin making the payments and is doing the background work in order to be able to deliver them as soon as possible once Congress passes the legislation. 
So Trump said he's prepared to ask the Treasury Department and Small Business Administration to reopen the Paycheck Protection Plan. And then he said that, hey, this will help the small businesses that have been hit the hardest as well. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know before you guys call it clickbait. What do you think? Do you think it's going to happen or is this just once again Jedi mind tricks? Let me know. All right. So like guys, let's go ahead and jump into Colorado. Colorado to extend the state benefits for unemployment for 13 more weeks. Governor Jared Polis or Polis planning to implement to apply the FEMA for a $300 bonus weekly unemployment pay through the president's executive order. So he extended the unemployment benefits for 13 weeks and it kicks in after the regular benefits and the federal, federal emergency benefits are exhausted. People who won't qualify will not need to make another claim. Excuse me, people who qualify will not need to make another claim. They will be contacted by the unemployment officials. Now, I don't know how that's gonna work. I would say that if you are in one of this little gray area space, you may want to go ahead at that point and try to do everything yourself because i mean as of right now unemployment is backlogged from my recollection but it says based upon the economic conditions of the state of colorado and this that is happening nationwide that is what's triggered for state extended benefits as well or it's known as se for state extended benefits so about 281,000 people should receive some form of unemployment pay in colorado as of August 1st. And by early next week, the state's unemployment trust fund, which is used to pay the regular benefits, will run out of money. But according to the governor, if they have to borrow money, they will borrow money. Now, of course, they are stating that um, in about two weeks, I think around August 24th, that $300 boost should be added on there automatically from your states. I would say definitely wait on it. Don't know if that is going to happen, but it should be added on August 24th and then you will get that $300 and if your state decides to kick in another $100. All right guys, so let's go ahead and jump into some rental relief programs for small businesses and I think I'm just going to do a separate video for small businesses, but if you are in the Atlanta, Georgia area, applications are now open for $18 million in small business grants in the city of Atlanta. The grants are up to $40,000 and are meant to reimburse small businesses for expenses related to the pandemic and to make social distancing easier. The city will be giving those businesses up to an additional $10,000 for to help with marketing, legal aid, and other technical assistance. Applications open Monday and Tuesday and more than 200 businesses have begun the application process. So guys, that's $18 million and pretty much you can get up to $50,000 for your business. I think it's a great deal. Um, in Vermont, they have childcare grants. I know a lot of people in yesterday's video said they were not sending their children back to school. Are those are some parents sending your children back to daycare? Let me know because there are a lot of grants out there as well for different money, which I think I'm gonna put together a video on just different grant videos as well. So applications from Vermont child care providers are being accepted to help mitigate losses due to the pandemic. Eligible services include child care programs, after school programs, summer day camps, parent child centers, and agencies that provide service. Applications must be received by August 26th. And at that time, you can go to the Vermont Department of Children and Families as well. Now, in the city of Austin, they are launching a grant to help creative workers that have been impacted by the pandemic as well. The city of Austin Economic Development Department has announced $3.5 million to help Austin Creator Worker Relief Grant for local creatives who have been financially impacted by the pandemic. This will be $2,000 and it will be given to those to pay like rent, bills, groceries, and they define a creative worker is an individual whose current or primary occupation is or has been within art, music, film, fashion, museums, preservation, and more. This includes both practicing artists as well as associated personnel with the creative industries. Creative workers can start submitting applications online Monday, August 17th, 10 a.m. to 
Friday, August 28th, 5 p.m. So that is $2,000. And it sounds like you just have to be associated in some capacity. All right, guys, so that is what I have. I will be doing another video for you guys, and that will be for my pandemic and EBT because I know a lot of people want to know when those payouts are coming. Stay tuned for that. What do you think about this that the president has directed Treasury to prepare second stimulus checks? Do you think it's happening? Do you think it's not going to happen? What do you think about the $3,400? Were you expecting more? Do you want more? Or at this point, do you just want the check? Like I think at this point, I'm ready to just have the stimulus check and just be done and over with this whole process because this roller coaster ride has been one too many for me. All right, so guys, that's all I have. Please like, comment, subscribe, enjoy your weekend, have a great weekend, spend some time with your family, get out, take a fresh air, you know, calm down, get some nice little positive vibes going on. And then I will be back here tomorrow and every other day until it passes. So thank you so much. Bye guys.